I think we can just go with questions. Questions. Coach, you uh, called a timeout there. I think there was about five minutes left in the first half. You guys were down 11, and at that point, you held them scoreless the rest of the way and got to within one. Just what did you tell the team at that point, and how, what did you think of their response being able to play like they did there? Well, I, I challenged them uh, to, to be more aggressive defensively. Uh, they were scoring pretty easily. They were scoring quickly and easily uh, in the man. And when we couldn't run, and they're scoring pretty much every time. So. We, we shifted to the zone at that point, and we challenged them to keep the ball in front of us, rebound, and run. That's pretty much what we did. Coach, can you uh, kind of put in words? You missed your last six free throws and won a Big Ten round game. That uh, kind of defies logic there. Well, a good thing we were up by enough points uh, <laughs> at that point. Uh, we're a good free throw shooting team, you know, and it's it's obviously frustrating when you miss them like they had a chance to put the game away. but. You know, we kept our composure enough to, to get the W. What about what you got from Matt there, especially both like at the end of the first half and then just having it carry over into the second half like it did? He was spectacular tonight. I mean, he was all over the place defensively on the glass. When we were struggling offensively late in the first half, he bangs two threes in a row. That that really, I think, propelled us. Because you know, you're on the road, they're cooking, you're down 11. As you pointed out, the game's in the balance right there. It can go from 11 to 21, or it can go from 11 to 1. Or from 11 to 1. In crunch time there, you're going with uh, some young players. Talk about your confidence in, in, in the young guys there. Well, what we've done is we've, we've sort of played you know, 10 players, maybe 11. And as the game goes on, we'll, we'll sort of get a feel for who, who's playing well tonight. And we'll go with those guys. You know, essentially, you know, a lot of those guys are freshmen, sophomores, and uh, you know, so they're going to be out there. And they're used to being in that situation. They were in that situation last year as freshmen, and our, and our, and our freshmen this year, in particular, White and Oglesby, are, are not afraid. So uh, I thought Aaron White was, was fabulous, absolutely fabulous. You put into words what, what this might mean for your pro, a program that struggled to win back-to-back -back, uh, Big Ten road games. You know what, I, I don't look at that right now, Rick. I, I really don't. And I, I just look at, are we getting better? We have a big road win on Saturday. Can we come in here and play with enough composure to win a game? We did that. that that's a big step for us. Now we've got to regroup. We've got one of the, the best three teams in the country coming in on, on Saturday. All right? Can, can we play against those guys? Uh, they present, you know, Minnesota presented different problems than in Wisconsin and Ohio State presents different problems than Minnesota. So it's all part of the growth process for, for this team. Brand, one of the questions that everybody might have had was how can you handle success? Do you feel like this game kind of proves that your team's able to kind of put good games to bed and focus on what you got at hand? Well, I, I, think, I think we did answer that, and I, and I think that's a legitimate question, Scott. Uh, you know, I had the same question myself. You know, it wasn't for lack of explaining to them exactly what you talked about. And are we going to be mentally tough enough? Are we going to be smart enough? Are we, you know, we, we, one of the things that we did to shorten the game once we got up seven or eight, I don't remember what the, the biggest league we had, you know, we used our fouls that we had to give. So even though we were missing free throws, they were running out of time. Any specific reason you went with uh, Devin instead of uh, Gabe today at all? Yeah, you know, I struggled with that, but uh, Archie had been spectacular recently in practice. He was sick. He didn't even make the Wisconsin trip. He had migraines, and he came back with the right mindset and had phenomenal practices back-to-back, -back, so I went with him. Let's go for Steve lost their best player in, in Trevor and Bachrach, but they played three pretty close games in the Big Ten. Are you surprised how they responded without him? No, uh, not at all. I mean, they've got one of the best coaches in the history of, of, of this game. Uh, and he's got other talented players. Yeah, as much as you miss Mbakwe for what he does, uh, you know, it, it's his experience as well. You, you, you take older guys out, you put younger guys in, but the only way they're going to develop is to get the kind of minutes they're getting. And I think they're responding pretty well. Uh, Welsh is tough. I know he's junior, but he's, he's new, and, 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 and the young guards he has, he's got a, a multitude of them, all of whom drive the ball, they defend, they rebound. 
they're going to win. They're going to win their share of games. What do you think when Nahamisi was driving for that last uh, potential layup? I was just hoping we didn't foul. <laughs> You know, I didn't. I didn't want three there. I figured if he's made, if he's going to make it, he's going to make it. Let's go over time. I didn't want to lose in regulation. Okay. Thank you.